hello everyone my name is ishmael n and welcome to today's video and with today's video you know i just want somebody to stand up be angry enough and possess your spotlight you get me you stand up you possess your spotlight you take your spotlight okay get angry you take what belongs to you praise the lord Many times, many Christians are being robbed today. Are being like many things that belong to you are being taken away. And sometimes, whenever if we sit down and be like, "Ah, oh, you know what? Like the Lord is gonna do this. The Lord is gonna see this." Like some things, they just need your actions. Okay, that's why God has given you authority. Has given you the power. You get me? That's why, like it was even saying in the book of Luke that you have been given authority to trample upon scorpions and serpents okay nothing shall harm you you have been given authority to do those things so that authority it's for you to access that faith that power has been given so that you can exercise it as much as you might pray some people they have these humble prayers will be like god do this for me lord this 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 but there comes a time where you just have to command. That's why like Jesus, whenever he would heal somebody, he would just command. Stand up and walk. Get up. All those things. Let us come forth. That is the authority. That's why there are some situations that if you just keep quiet and wish your way out of the situation, you will not see changes. Okay? I remember I told once, gave a testimony of this time where when I was still at school, when I was studying and I was not understanding and I've been studying for days and I realized tomorrow morning I'm writing but still I haven't gotten anything until I stood up, until I stood up and I was like, I got angry, I began to declare I de declare, and I began to speak wisdom and I, speak, I began to speak understanding. Immediately when I went back to my desk and started reading again, I began understanding things that I couldn't understand from, from day one instantly. But I was not understanding the whole past two days when I was studying. But instantly, that moment, I understood. That is the part. But if it's not like inside my heart, I was not wishing that I could just uh, understand those things, okay? I was wishing. I, I, I was wishing. But that wishing was doing nothing. But until I got angry, I took my spotlight. And I want somebody, I want somebody to look at your situation, what's troubling you, what's eating you. As you get angry, you're going to take your spotlight. You're going to take what belongs to you. That is why in the book of Numbers chapter 27, from verse 1, where these five daughters of Zelo had, you know, they went to Moses. They were like, you know what? Our father died as well, not among those who were killed, but he was also part of those who he died from his own sins, not part of those who were killed by uh, when the Lord was angry and all those things, but he also died of his own sins. What about the, our inheritance? Since he did not have any sons, are we not supposed to get something? His in inherit things from him. And then Moses took it before the Lord. And the Lord agreed. And was like, yes, do give them their inheritance. You get me? If there were some people, they would be like, no, we are just daughters. Those things were supposed to be for the, for the sons, the inheritance. But somehow, somehow, they got angry. And they were like, no, this does not make sense. I know commonly that the rule, we know that commonly rules state that Sons are supposed to inherit and all, but no, 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 no. My father, our father did not have uh, a son. So what are about his belongings? Where are they going? They have to make means. And that's when they approached Moses. And God did not bring forth that word before Moses until they had to complain. Someone would have thought, okay, God would have just told Moses, 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 uh, attend the five daughters of Zelopah head and give them what belongs to them. No, but they had to stand up and command what belongs to them. And the Lord hears. 
So even you, in the name of Jesus Christ, when you stand up, when as you stand up and begin to call what you want to see and say it before God, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I'm uncomfortable when I look at my life like this. I'm uncomfortable when I see my, my progress being this slow. I want to see progress. You promised in your word that I shall progress. I shall succeed in life. I shall not suffer. I shall not be like you speak what you know. And then when it arrives, those words arise before the ears of the almighty God. You'd be like, yes, that's true. You have the right to progress in life. You have a right to succeed. You have a right to break through. And the Lord, as a result, is going to answer you and give you what belongs to you. Hallelujah. So that is what you must do. When Goliath in 1 Samuel chapter 17 was kissing the people, children of Israel, when he was possessing their land, David got angry. The Goliath had taken the spotlight. But then David got angry. You know what? That is our spotlight. It belongs to us. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine who is kissing the children of God? Who is kissing the name of the Most High God? Not that God was incapable of uh, striking him down with lightning or whatsoever. But God Almighty needed someone who would stand in the gap. That's why there is such scripture that someone who would stand in the gap. And David as a result, he stood in the gap. And that's when he started, this life started progressing. If he had not done so, we don't know what would have happened. But until you make a bold step and face the enemy of your progress, you get angry and stop being scared, stop being some sort of a coward. Get angry and say, I want this and this belongs to me and me alone. That is where you'll begin to see changes. That is why I'm saying, take your spotlight. This is the time. The Lord is going to respond to you. He's going to bless you with what you want. You're going to get. Look at everything that bothers you. And things where you look at yourself. Be like, I was supposed to be in this position in my life. Why am I still stuck where I am right now? And begin to command what you want to see in the near future. And take what belongs to you. Hallelujah. When David was being chased away in 2 Samuel by his son Absalom, he ran away, he flee. He had to flee. But there came a time where he got angry and he, he took back his kingship, you know, his kingdom. Hallelujah. He got angry and at the end, he was able to take back what belongs to him. You might have run away. But that was not the end of David. In the eyes of men, that, it seemed like that was the end. His son is taking over. He's going to be king and all. But then the Lord was with him and they found means to come against Absalom and his soldiers. Okay? You do not give up. You look at your situation. Go against whatever has stolen from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are taking back your spotlight. I decree and I declare in Jesus' name, you are taking back what belongs to you as a child of God. It is your right through the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you shall have all that belongs to you and you shall surely testify in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we pray may that authority you have given us work. May you empower them. Anyone who wants to partake and who wants to receive, receive this now, right now. May you exercise your authority. May it work. May power come out in the name of Jesus Christ to demolish all the worlds of Jericho against your progress, against your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And... This is what I had for you in today's video. But most importantly, remember, for you to possess and take these things, you must give your life to Christ so that you can have your right as an heir of God, okay? Through Christ Jesus. So give yourself to Christ Jesus. Confess his lordship 
if you had big slidden or been in a sinful lifestyle, repent. And if you had not been born again, repent and be a child of God and be a Christian. Hallelujah. Through Christ Jesus. And these things are going to manifest in your life. And if this was for your first time watching and you would like to watch more videos, remember to subscribe, okay? As well as hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload such kinds of videos. As well as if you enjoyed today's video, like it as well as share with those whom you feel might need to hear this good message of God. And DM me on my Instagram or email me if you have prayer requests or spiritual advices, dream interpretations, the details on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.